Welcome to Ireland's Nine Ball Pro Season 2012 Grand Final. This is Ireland's two national players, Paddy the Ginger Magician McLaughlin and Mark the Bear MacDonald. We are now live on reddishtv.com. They stream all the major events around Ireland, 8 Ball, 9 Ball and Snooker. Check out their website for upcoming live streams. And this is the Grand Final on May 26th, 2012. Ireland's nine ball pro season bringing you the best players this is the grand final and we're coming to you main table live from Hustlers Pool Hall Belfast plenty of good pool to come this stream is brought to you by Blackheart Premium Billiard Tips the tips that are equipped with technology also brought to you by Emergency the drink that enhances energy the natural way and McDermott Handcrafted Cues. They provide the best quality and service in the business. So that's Paddy on the left and Mark on the right. About to lag off. And it's close. Very close. So now we know that Paddy won that. Let's have a quick look at the tournament format. The players have just lagged to see who breaks. Paddy won the lag. It's alternative breaking, so each player takes turns. This is a true double elimination, meaning that each player has a second chance to win the tournament. Both Paddy and Mark are on their second chance, so this is the grand final match. Paddy McLaughlin and Mark McDonald, and this is a race to seven. Don't forget to check out reddishtv.com. We'll be bringing you more updates on our Euro 2012 travels as well. So back to Hustlers Pool Hall, Belfast. A very big thanks to Sean Judge for putting on an amazing display here today. I know the lads are working all week trying to get this table in ready. Brand new table for the grand final. Place is looking really good. Don't forget if you have any comments you'd like to leave in our forum, greatly appreciated. Or if you want to check us out on Facebook, that's facebook.com forward slash Red Dish TV. We'd be happy to answer any questions. Paddy failing to pot off the break. And Mark playing a wee safety. Both pa Paddy and Mark get the team up next weekend. They head over to the qualifiers in Austria for the World Cup of Pool. And it's great to get to see these guys playing against each other in a major final before that event. Get to see a jump shot right at the start of the, the match. Nice one. these two lads during the week before they fly off and we'll definitely be keeping you update on their progress over there on reddishtv.com and on our Facebook and I believe that they'll be unveiling the new Irish nine ball pool shirt here in Hustlers uh, during the week so we'll definitely be keeping you updated on that and if anybody wants to buy that Irish nine ball pool shirt you can email us at reddish at live.ie we'd be happy to give you more details and pass you on to the lads right now Paddy's turn on the table Mark 
Mark played some really aggressive pool in that last match. But it's a clean slate now, and Paddy knows that. And he's a player that when he puts his head down, he can really play pool. Paddy playing with Predator Q. I know they... And this is looking promising. Looking very promising for Paddy to go 1 0 up. And he does, leaving the white ball right in the centre of the table. Best place for it. This stream is brought to you by Blackheart Premium Billiard Tips. You can check them out at bhtip.com. You can also find the link for those on our website. And a big wish out to Jedfo Jedward. I know a lot of people don't like Jedward, but they are representing Ireland, so let's hope that they bring us back gold. Mark scratching off the break. Disgusted. Two beside the nine, but definitely not a plant on. If he wants to have a go at the two, he has to either go into the same pocket as where the one is, or he has to at least tip them. He's looking for the two to go back up the table. He wants the cue ball to stop where his tip is. But that's very hard with that four ball and three ball in the way. And even if he gets the two, He's trying it. Well, playing on the Simona speed cloth, so that actually took it down a few more inches. He was lucky. He nearly full ball snookered himself. But he can actually still get it into that top pocket. A bit of screw back might just hold it off the right rail to put the tree in the bottom left. Ah, oh, that's a great shot. That's unlucky. not to have been tighter to that pocket would have come out a lot better angle for the tree but I'd say it's tree in the middle oh no got away with it So just to let everybody know of our next live event is on June the 23rd, live on reddishtv.com, the main table of Ireland's 8-ball challenge tour, some of the best tour players, some of the best 8-ball players in Ireland will be at this event, and you can watch it free view on the website, live from Q Sports Academy, Tyrone, and that stream is sponsored by The Pizza Place, 
if you're ever looking for pizza in Fintona, they deliver it to your door and it's absolutely fantastic. Mark is a straight four, but he would have rather have a bit of an angle probably. Well, he's unlucky there. It was always going to be hard. And I think Paddy's going to be coming back for the next shot. Mark played some brilliant pool in the last match. If he can hold that up, and if that drops, it does, it's brilliant. Bit of forward spin to keep the cue ball up by the seven. That was a brilliant five, number five ball. Very tight. That clot is so fast that it's... It travels an extra rail nearly every time. So this will be a hard nine. It could be off the rail, or tight to the rail, sorry. Very tight to the rail. A long, it's nearly straight. Being tight to the rail, you'll have to put forward spin on it, meaning that if it's bang on straight, the white could go in after it. He's missed it. He had to allow a slight bit of an angle to stop the white going in after it and that's why he missed it. And Paddy plays safe. And that's a great shot. concedes that well a small tussle but it was definitely the snooker from Paddy that that won him that frame welcome back to part two of Ireland's American nine ball pro season grand final sponsored by emergency back and it's Paddy to break scoreboard should actually show two nil to Paddy don't worry about that we'll update it in a minute And it's a dry rack again. Nothing down. Mark gets to come back to the table. This being the grand final. Both these players have lost in the tournament before. Mark beat Paddy in the last game today. And this is why it's gone to the grand final. Because both these players are on the loser side. That's why it's a race to seven. Not like a race to nine. And there's Sean Judge himself. Put in an awful lot of effort this this tournament and all six tournaments this year the pro event was just it was really special we've seen some brilliant pool and I know that this is a match that we're going to see more great pool from these two players Mark thinking about a, a safety I'd reckon because He's got three balls that he can roll behind. And even though he didn't get behind it, it's still a very difficult shot. Because Paddy's going to have to play a forward spin because he's so close to that six ball. Which means that the white's going to follow the yellow down the table. And he won't have a shot on the, on the two. I'm not even sure with the two balls up near the rails whether that two can even pot. He's gone for the pot. And left an angle, so I'm presuming the two can slip past the six and come back down the table for the three. Oh, this white 
could get caught with that six exactly like that. Only shot there was nearly screw back, but it's nearly impossible to get it right then to the other side of the table, even though we're playing on a speed clot here. That's still a, a big feat. I reckon he's going to try and get that red into the bottom right and play the cue ball cannon off either the 9 or the 5 as like an insurance if the red doesn't go down one of them might go down none of them go down Paddy has an easy tree that he can definitely get up for the 4 and back down for the 5 the 6 looks ok the 7 the six will need a lot of positioning, so that will be the key for this match. And well, he always likes to take on that nine ball. No, play safe this time. Not happy with his shot. Or else, talking about those two models that are behind us here, waving at, <laughs> waving at us now. I don't think they're on his mind right now. Paddy has amazingly won four out of the five previous tournaments. This pro season, and this will make it five out of six, and that's an amazing job for such a competitive field. He's leaps and bounds above Even when he's not playing well, he seems to have luck on his side. Mark getting a wee bit agitated as well, and he doesn't want to do that because he's a much better player when he's relaxed and enjoying himself. And again, Paddy gets a bit lucky. That's a great shot. He could just screw that back to play the seven down in the bottom right. Or he could play forward right spin to get it back down to play the seven in the top right. Oh, very unfortunate because the seven was stuck to the cushion and the white hit it straight he got no kick he's recovered brilliant shot he'll have to come to the left side of the nine which means that he'll be very close to that pocket but the angle looks as if it won't go in so he just has to get it back down it's close to the nine and he won't have a shot on that. It was very unlucky. He won't leave an easy shot, but definitely won't. And this is what Mark doesn't like against Paddy, because Paddy just nearly always wins these wee tussles. We there we go. He's he Paddy, as I say very clever with the snookers for, or with the safeties and now Paddy goes 3-0 up it's the opposite of the previous final Mark was way out in front but now Paddy is getting a lot closer to the grand final and a lot closer to 5 out of 6 and that's amazing on the Irish tour 
This stream is brought to you by Blackheart Premium Billiard Tips, the best tips in the game. Uh, without shadow of a doubt, I, uh, I use them on my break queue. Really durable. I've only cha changed them once in the last two years. Now that probably says something about why I'm not playing in the final, but I definitely recommend Mark to break. And two go down, three go down, four go down, but one of them is a white. And that's the second time he's scratched off the break in this final. Paddy eager to get on the table. Mark wants to play darts. But it was a super break because if the white didn't go down, the one is over the pocket. He would have only had six balls to pot, and now it really looks like Paddy could go four. Don't forget to check us out on reddishtv.com and like us on Facebook. We'll be bringing you all the upcoming events and pictures and video and interviews with some of the players as well. A lot of people have been asking about details of the Euro 2012 coverage on Reddish TV. Yeah we're going over we're going to be flying into Venice on the 6th of June we'll be traveling from Venice up to Poznan in Poland where we'll be camping there for two and a half weeks we'll be close to the training ground so we'll be bringing you pictures from there we'll also be bringing you pictures from the supporters in the campsites and there'll be loads of competitions over the next coming weeks in relation to winning yourself free island jerseys and a lot more. This stream is brought to you by McDermott Handcrafted Coos. In the business for 35 years, they're definitely worth it. That's what that's on my Christmas box. The eight ball goes down. The one is pretty tricky, but if he can get to it with a bit of swerve, he'll be able to get down for the two. However, the five ball is in a way because swerving it will have to put left spin on it. Nah, I would play for a push out here, but Paddy's a lot better player than me. And he's 4 nil up, so he's definitely going to take it on. Now, let's see what Mark's attitude is he's good enough to come back from this he's definitely good enough to come well with shots like that he's definitely two off the six maybe or off the nine onto the six. Oh, I'm sorry I've got two balls mistaken very annoyed with himself, very annoyed with himself and it's a long time since I've seen a player throw a frame with that many balls on the table but they were spaced all over pockets and with the form that Paddy's on, Mark Paddy just doesn't want Paddy to get down for table practice but it's Paddy 5-0 and Mark is not a happy bear. This stream is also sponsored by Emergency The drink that enhances energy the natural way. Best way to get vitamin C, especially in a tournament like this. And it's coming to the end of the day and you're really tired. Emergency is the best job for it. No caffeine in it. Brilliant. Paddy looking for a snooker behind that ace. Didn't get it. Maybe he knows what Mark is agitated and it's always harder to get out of a snooker when you you feel like the luck's just not on your side. But he gets a snooker back and that's 
a good way to tell Paddy, don't be at that. I'm very lucky there. And a smack around the table, showing that it's going to be very hard for him to win seven racks in the next nine racks. But he ran a few racks in the last game, which means that if he puts his head down now, he can come back from this. He's good enough to do it. So while we're in Poland and Poznan, we'll be bringing you video every day of the tournament. That's from the 8th of June, with the first game that kicks off is Poland and Greece. That kicks off at 5pm. We will have video on the website at between 4 and half 4pm. Meaning that, check out the video before the game and we'll show you exactly what's happening over there in Poland from Poznan. Mark just missing that nine. He gets a second shot, and the two will go down the rail. And the two's in. This is a good chance here. The balls are nicely spread. Very nicely done by Mark. Not camera shy at all. Loves to talk to the camera. And this is a great chance. He only has to follow the black and the white will come down. Right beside the nine. Is this the start of Mark's comeback? It could be. It's 5-1. Hello and welcome back to the third and final part of Ireland's Nine Ball Pro Season 2012 Grand Final. This stream is brought to you by Black Heart Premium Billiard Tips. It's currently 5-1 to Mark McDonald. We'll update the scoreboard now. It's Paddy McLaughlin's break, and he's really looking like taking it five out of six tournaments. This is an amazing feat from Paddy, just before heading off to the World Cup of Pool. With Mark McDonald, might I add, it'd be great to get a, a qualification spot into the final in September. Paddy breaks. Cotton two balls. Wanted to connect with that six. That'll be awkward when he gets there. But does that nine go all the way down to the bottom right? Maybe that's what he wanted to avoid. No, he's trying to hit that again. He got the tip. Now it's a promising rack. Don't forget to check us out on reddishtv.com. Our next live event is the 8-Ball Challenge Tour on the 23rd of June. It's free view to watch on our website. It's free to sign up to our website. And Paddy's missed. It's a good shot to get round for the 6. And now this will be a chance for Mark to make his comeback. Great shot. An awe out of Paddy because he knows he's after making a mistake. And that's great pull all the way around the eight. Stop it dead for a nine up in the top right. A 
and a nice clearance from Mark to take it to 5-2 maybe this comeback is on and he's well capable of it it's his break now as well this is Ireland's nine ball pro season 2012 grand final between Paddy McLaughlin the ginger magician and Mark McDonald the bear known as the bear <coughs> I wonder why that is I wonder where he got that from Mark to break 5-2 and a dry rack he's just had no luck with them breaks Six ball is a wee bit tricky. Even this cue ball control, he's missed it too. He left it far too tight. That's what the endurance of this nine, nine ball season has has shown the players. It's so hard to keep con your mind on the game when it's coming into hour 10 of a day playing pool all day your food intake your drink intake well he got away with that it'll be hard to get to the four He nearly wants the white ball back where it's starting, just a wee bit out from that pocket. But he might play a wee snooker in here behind the nine. I, that'd be the safe thing to do. Five two up. You wanna you wanna get the game over and done with. He went for the pot. say anything except forward spin would keep it too tight to that rail but as I mentioned the word endurance that that's what your mind has got to it's got to think of the, the simple shots uh, a simple screw back would have bounced it off the cushion back up to make an easy six but it's easy for me to say it I'm sitting here in a, on a chair I'm relaxing while watching this these players are walking around all day. Might not look strenuous, but it's a lot harder than sitting on a couch. This is a great chance for Paddy to take 6 2, and then we'll one rack away from the grand final champion. Not a straight pot, would have liked it to be straight. But they still put it in the middle, and it'll still be 6 2 to Paddy. Paddy's break. Remember these lads don't play the nine ball off the break. So if someone passes the nine ball off the break, it's a re-rack. Uh, it doesn't count for the score. This spawn, uh, this stream is brought to you by Emergency. The drink that enhances energy the natural way. Great for vitamin C. No caffeine, no sugar. On the 23rd, we're in Tyrone, Q Sports Academy for the 8 Ball Challenge Tour. And on the 24th, we're in the Embassy Rooms in Letterkenny for the 9 Ball Leinster Open. We'd love you to join us online. Join us on Facebook as well. And if you like this video, it'd be great to get a, a wee comment from you, a thumbs up, and a wee share on your wall. We'd be happy to bring you more streams live from true Ustream thanks to Ustream mark on the table 
Paddy didn't pot off the break. Normally he'll pot three, three or four balls off the break. Another tough pink. It's nearly straight. He's going to have to bend the angle slightly. Good recovery. Close to the rail. Well, he didn't want to miss that. And this is a great chance for Paddy. All the balls are nice bar the eight ball, but he shouldn't have much of a problem because he's going to be able to screw back from the six. Leave himself short to screw back for the seven. Or he might just play forward spin here and leave it to the left of the table. Just a roll in nearly. But you never know from this lad. He pulls off. Like look at the spin there. That shows how fast that Simona's speed clot is. players all saying that this is a great table to play on the new table the new hustlers pool hall main table the nine goes in and Paddy's one ball away from becoming 2012 grand final champion winning six five of the six events Paddy McLaughlin Paddy McLaughlin pots the nine and he's the champion and that's brilliant pool all season from the ginger magician. Mark is very unlucky in the final. He did great in the in the last final. This is Ireland's American nine ball pro season. You've just watched Paddy McLaughlin become 2012 grand final champion. The ginger magician does it again. Our next live stream will be coming to you from Poznan on the 6th of June at 5pm. It'd be great if you could tune in to check it out. We'll be bringing you all of what's going on in the town of Poznan before the build-up to the Irish Croatia game, which is on the 10th. Every day of the Euros, we'll be bringing you a clip. And we would love for you to join us in Poznan for all of our up-and-coming competitions. They'll be on the website. We'll hopefully get to meet these two lads, Paddy McLaughlin and Mark MacDonald, in the next few days uh, before they head off to the World Cup of Pool qualifiers in Austria. We'll be supporting them while they're over there. We'll be bringing you information on the website as well about the match and how they're doing. We'll also be showing you the new Nine Ball Ireland team jersey, which will be available to buy pretty soon. If you want details on that, email reddish at live.ie. We'll be happy to give you information as soon as it comes out. Don't forget to post in our forums because unless we get the help of you, the streams need to go ahead to show this talent from Ireland. On the 23rd of June, we'll be in Tyrone for the 8-Ball Challenge Tour. On the 24th of June, we'll be in Letterkenny in the Embassy Rooms for the Leinster Open 9-Ball Championships. Those streams are brought to you by the Pizza Place in Fintona. If you want pizza delivered to your door, the Pizza Place is the place for you. Join us on reddishtv.com. Don't forget to like this video and thumbs up and share us on your wall.